using polymer gloss varnish or indeed polymer matte varnish as a varnish versus all the other things it does, we must add water to it. Now firstly I'll, I'll just quickly talk about the water that you're going to add to it and then we'll talk about how much. The water that you add to it has to be clean and especially if you're planning on keeping that mixture for a while and not just using it straight away. You can use distilled water or rather than paying and having to buy distilled water you can actually just take normal tap water, boil it on the stove, it must be at a rolling boil for over three minutes and then let it cool down obviously. Taking water out of your kettle won't do the job, it's got to actually boil for at least three minutes to make sure it kills all the bugs in the water. Okay so now we've got our clean water we need to determine how much water we want to add with the varnish. A good place to start is 10% water in the varnish. So one part water, nine parts varnish. You can go up to equal parts, so one part water and one part varnish, to get very thin coats. At the end of the day, we want very thin coats. Lots of thin coats with water-based varnishes is far better than one thick one. So we've added some water, let's say 10%, and we're applying it onto our painted finish or, or, or our picture. How you apply it, once again, is, is a personal thing. Firstly, getting it very thin is what we're trying to do. But aside from getting it very thin, whether you just varnish in the one direction and let it dry, or whether indeed you cross hatch, is really up to you. Either method, there's lots of people that think one method is better than the other, either method will get you there. The main thing though that you want to think is, is visualise on a, on, a, on a micro level the film that you're leaving behind. So um, even the softest brush is going to leave basic corrugations in the, in the varnish. So if you come back uh, across ways or, or perpendicular to it, you'll actually knock the, the tops off those, those peaks and fill out the troughs so you should get a much flatter surface and that will give a much more even reflection or, or sheen coming back. Um, alternatively, you can go in the one direction and then once it's dry, go back the other direction. That'll still work as well. But the main aim is to get it as flat as possible. And that's why we're adding a little bit of water because the varnish is quite thick because it's used for other things. And so you need to reduce the viscosity down just a little bit.